Good morning, my name is Lauren and I am taking over Michaela's Instagram today, so let's get the day started. Well, I actually took over Michaela's Instagram um, last year around the time that I had my son. He was two weeks old and I had already started working again. So I took Michaela's course in March of 2020, so I've been a business owner for three years now, but I have niched down into web design in the past two years. So I design websites and funnels and include all of the marketing and tech support for my clients. In March, I'm launching a new offer to help women who are virtual assistants already and want to niche down and become in demand and specialize in a service. And that is going to be launching in March. So if you want more details on that, make sure you follow me over on my Instagram. Why am I getting ready if I work from home? Number one, I have started this new belief for myself this year that the Lauren who is going to the next level in her business gets up every morning and does her makeup and gets dressed uh, because I used to just work in my pajamas. I've got a kid coming in to interrupt me. Okay, we're alone again. So um, that's one reason. And the second reason is that um, I have two children. I have an 18 month old and a six month, a six year old. And um, I, uh, I homeschool my six year old. And so on Wednesdays, we go to a co-op and I have to stay on campus at the co-op all day. So I uh, get ready. Oh, she's got her Valentine's makeup on this makeup done and then we'll go and get lunches packed and get everything ready to get out to the co-op. Okay, so on Wednesdays, I actually get my day started, my work day started a little bit later because we have to get everything ready for school, get to school, and then I actually work from my car most of the day. So we're gonna get lunches packed um, and then we will head off to school and that's when I will start my work day. So we're ready to go to co-op. So when I drop her off at co-op, I will head back to my car and that's when I will start working. So I have client calls today. I am wrapping up a web design project for a client. Um, and I am also prepping for the focus group for the new offer that I'm launching in March. Um, I'm meeting with a couple women later this week to present my ideas. And so I'm wrapping up my sales page for that. And I also have uh, this collaboration that's happening tonight with one of my business friends on her Instagram. We're doing an Instagram live. So all kinds of things that I'll be prepping for as I'm working in the car today. And you're probably hearing the sound of my washing machine. Okay, I just dropped her at class. So let's jump in the car and get started on I have two clients right now that are in a project base. Um, and then I have three clients that are, uh, no, four, I think that are retainer based. Um, one of those is like a design client that I continuously help them build out membership designs. Um, and then three of those clients are past web design project clients who stay on with me for monthly maintenance and updates and things like that. Okay, 100% took courses, but also, I mean, I am self-taught because you're learning every day. So I started out with a course called Geek Pack, um, which is very heavily like coding and like the techie side of web design. And then Mackenzie Mater came out with her course and I took like the very first round of that when she was building it, which is basically like her design process in a nutshell, plus like tons of like answering, how do I do this? How do I do that? Um, which I highly recommend because it's just like giving you this huge jump start. Um, and then from there, you're never like you have to just keep teaching yourself with web design because there's so many different new features that come out different tools that you can use um so combination so all of my design projects are in the design phase right now but all of my clients start with a strategy call um and a lot of those happened last week or even two weeks ago and that is just a deep dive into their project where i can support them um, and guide them in making decisions and even help them like with their copy or choosing certain elements for their pages um and then after that we go into development where we're actually taking their designs and making them real live functioning websites and that is such a cool process um so a lot of my clients are in that phase right now so that's a lot of what you've seen me working on um, in between client calls today okay we're home 
and I have the Galentine's thing with my friend for an Instagram live. So I'm going to get the kids inside and um, we're going to get ready for that. And that kicks off, I think it's 8 p.m. Eastern, but we'll tag, we'll tag all of that information. How can I answer this in 60 seconds? Um, the <laughs> projects, a project timeline and scope, like it just, it, it takes time to figure out like what, what works best for you and kind of like your own process too. Like I tried VIP days, that didn't work for me because I felt like I needed more space for my creativity. I enjoy doing mock-ups as part of my process. So that's something I decided to add, add in. Um, but I do think that that's the benefit of taking a course like McKinsey's is that you get somebody else's process and then from that, um, you can decide what works for you. And, but it, it just takes time to figure that out. So um, a lot of my processes are like, I know what I can do in one week. So I have a package that includes uh, everything, you know, within a week and you either take advantage of all those things or you don't, but the price is the price. Um, and then I have a two week package and I know what I can get done in those. And same thing, like there are a number of things that are included and whether the client uses all of those um, is up to them. Clients. This is a fun one too. Everybody wants to know like, where can we get clients? Um, so I would say I get maybe one to two clients a year from the OTO job board. Um, but I'm not always looking for people that are like, I need web design because at this point I can see the needs that somebody has. Like they might say they need something in that OTO job post, but I know they actually need my services. And so I might reach out to them. Um, and that's typically how I land those clients is that like I'm have an innovative way of thinking. Um, but a lot of my clients come from referrals or they are repeat clients who are coming back to me for another project. Um, and then I would say I get like a couple clients of maybe like five or six clients I'll get um, in a year from like doing like social media and stuff like that. So um, my biggest ways of um, finding clients at this point is through referrals of other clients, which is great when that starts to happen. Back in the bathroom for makeup touch up before the Galentine's event that kicks off at eight. Um, this is like, shout out all my favorite things. Number one, I don't know if anybody can relate to this since becoming a work from home mom, I just purged all my work clothes, like all my work pants, any blouses, so don't have it. So got this, but these are my favorite. These are the Spanx, uh, like leather leggings. So good. So, so good. Um, and I have to show you some lipstick that I love too. Yeah. I was a teacher, um, before this and I did not know I was techie. I actually, I, I didn't know what I was good at at all. I did what I thought I was supposed to do and got a college degree with I don't know if anybody else feels like this. I, while I I loved the kids that I worked with and I actually felt like I was actually really good at my job, I also feel like that I'm really good at a lot of things that I put my mind to. Um, and so while I was good at teaching, it did not fulfill me in the way that um, web design and tech and like figuring out problems in this way fulfills me. Um, so yeah. $30,000 degree and um, you know what though I wouldn't be where I am today if I hadn't done that